Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be testing out the new MAC Roller Eyeliner versus regular liquid eyeliner. If you haven't already, make sure you click subscribe below to help me get to 2 million subscribers by the end of this year. I'm sure you guys have seen this all over Instagram and YouTube. A lot of people have been reviewing this and I haven't actually found anyone testing it against just normal liquid eyeliner. So I wanted to test it out to see which one is actually better. So this is the MAC Roller Wheel Liquid Liner. What's really unique about this eyeliner is that it has a spinning disc applicator that absorbs a perfect amount of product. I've never seen anything like this on the market, but apparently the rolling applicator gives you a continuous smooth, even stroke of color. Here's a close up of the applicator. As you can see, it looks like a mini pizza cutter. The disc is quite thin. I don't think it's super sharp or anything because then it will cut your skin but it comes out of the bottle like this so you get the perfect amount of product. On paper it's super easy to use this roller wheel. I'm just gliding it along and it gives me really straight lines. Keep in mind that this is a flat piece of paper so it's pretty easy to apply it however when it goes on your skin it might be a different story. I'll be comparing the new MAC liner with my current favourite eyeliner. This is the Hourglass Voya Waterproof Liquid Liner. I really like the formula of this one and I find it pretty easy to apply with the felt tip. Besides that, this liquid eyeliner is pretty ordinary, there's nothing too crazy about this. You can get similar ones on the market. It's just been my go-to one lately so I thought I'd test it against the new MAC one. So first, let me show you how I normally use my liquid liner, like the pen one. I'm gonna do it on this side and then we're gonna compare with the MAC roller one. So how I normally apply this is I kind of just start on the outer corner and do small strokes, staying really close to my lash line. So I'm gonna do that along there and just keep going inwards to my inner corner. For this type of eyeliner, I find that small little strokes is key. Once I'm happy with this part, I'm going to start extending my liner out and do a small wing. So there's how I normally do my eyeliner. Now for this eye, I'm going to be trying the MAC Roller Wheel. This was sent to me and the formula I got was the shiny one, which I don't really like love shiny eyeliner. I would probably prefer something a bit more matte, but I'm just going to go in to see how easy it is to use this tip. I'm going to use it to line my eyes, just like that part first, and then I'll wing it out after. So let's go in. Oh, so far so good. It's actually like super pigmented. I feel like the formula is a little, um, I don't know, it feels a bit like more runny than um, what I'm used to, but it works, it's good. I actually feel this roller wheel is so much easier to, to use, to apply like really close to your lash line. Now I don't think that's like perfect, but I'm going to just try to like clean it up and make the lines a bit more like sharper and just crisp. I kind of accidentally just extended my inner corner, but I don't mind the look of that. I do that sometimes. I kind of just like rolled all the way down. It's just so easy just to keep rolling. Now for the moment of truth this is like the wing part. This is the part that people kind of struggle with. So for me, I kind of like to use like my pinky to kind of stabilize my hand. And then I'm just going to draw like a line up. Like so. And then another line. And then fill in the triangle. It's not bad. I feel like for this, you have to be like really light handed. I wouldn't like press it too hard. You just kind of want the liner to just touch your skin and you can just glide it on. Don't like press too hard. Yeah, and I feel like this, you can definitely like go in and really like line all the spaces. So when you put lashes on top, you don't see any skin. So it's really good for that actually. I'm looking at it and I kind of like this side better. I feel like when, um, I use the rollerball to really line 
closer to my lash line. It worked so much better than what I normally do because I normally like going really like slow and steady. But with this one, it just goes like, you know, it just glides in and it's much quicker. I also don't really mind the shiny finish. I normally don't really like shiny eyeliners, but I'm kind of feeling this one today. What I do have to point out about this is the formula. For some reason, it, it kind of feels a little bit, I don't know, it feels like I have a film of like product over my eye. I can just feel that layer. It's not like, it's not restricting, but I feel like if I like was to pull that, it would to crack or something. But yeah, it just feels like I've got a film of uh, product over my lid. Whereas this one, I don't really feel anything. This one, I, I can kind of feel the product. I don't know if that's gonna bug you, but yeah, it's just, it just feels different. I actually didn't think this one would work very well, um, but I'm surprised it did. I thought it'd be more gimmicky. Um, to some extent, I don't think it's as versatile as the like pen liquid liner. I feel like with this baby, you can create like really thin lines as well as thick lines. So you can really kind of build it up. Whereas with the Mac roller one, it's kind of just like one width of the line. It's really thin. You can also build it up, but you have to do like multiple strokes to get like a bigger line. I feel like this eyeliner is great if you want something more like graphic, like something more bold or do like any of that crazy um, fashion-y stuff where they do like crazy graphic liner. I feel like this would be really good for that because it just makes drawing lines really easy. For my final verdict, I don't feel that any of these are like better than the other. I think it comes down to personal preference. If you're like really good at using like a liquid liner pen, then maybe you don't have to go out and buy this one. However, maybe if you're a beginner and you haven't really gotten used to using any, maybe try this one because I do find it a little bit easier when you do your winged liner, like when you draw it out. So yeah, that's it to this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please let me know what other products you want me to try out. A lot of you guys have tagged me on numerous products, so there will be new episodes of like Teen to try it and everything so stay tuned if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay updated with future videos and i'll speak to you guys next time bye